Greetings, welcome to another Vector Yellow tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a long shadow effect in Adobe Illustrator. I'll use the appearance panel to make the effect editable for future use. At the end of the video, you will learn how to create graphic style in Adobe Illustrator. To begin, I will create a new document in Adobe Illustrator. I'll keep the color mode to RGB and give the output 700 pixel wide and 390 pixel height. I'll grab the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle with a height of 700 pt and a width of 390 pt. I'll change the fill color to a gradient with R30, G40, B247. And R248, G36, B81. I'll keep the gradient linear with an angle of minus 152 degree. I'll lock the background because I don't need this later. I'll go to object, lock, and then selection to lock the rectangle, or you can hit control or command to from your keyboard. Then I'll select the type tool from the toolbar and type some text. I'll grab the selection tool, select the text, and change the font to railway bold and font size to 70 pt. You can download the font for free, check the description to see the link. After that, I'll place the text on the middle of the artboard. The next step is to create the effect using the appearance panel. First, remove any fill or stroke from the text. Go to appearance panel and from appearance options, select add new fill. This will add a new fill to the type. Change the fill color to EF, ED, E8. Duplicate the fill, select the new fill at the bottom and replace the fill with a gradient. I'll load two sliders from the gradient panel. The color of the first slider will be R252, G203, B8. And the second slider will be R230, G15, B72. Gradient direction will be linear and the angle will be 0 degree. You will notice that you can't see the gradient fill because it is behind the first fill. Now let's add some effect. Hit the add new effect icon and go to distort and transform and then transform. From the transform box, tap 1 pt in the horizontal box and 0.6 in the vertical box. Increase the number of copies to 300 and then hit OK. Go to window graphic style and drag the text to the graphic style panel. The effect will be saved as a graphic style and you can use the effect with one click. Now let's type another text and change its font and size. Place it slightly below the previous text. Now go to graphic styles panel again and hit the graphic style we saved earlier. You can see we are reusing the effect very easily. In the final step, I will get rid of the unnecessary parts. Draw a 700 by 390p rectangle and align it with the artboard. Select everything and go to Object, Clipping Mask, and then make it or simply hit Ctrl 7 from your keyboard. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to get some cool Illustrator text effects, go to my Create Mega Shop. You can download rate-to-use text effects from as low as 6 US dollars. Check the description for the link to my shop.